Hello, folks. What's some more? It's your guy, NWB. And here we are this week to talk about my 49ers in the Super Bowl. They made a strong start to the season with Jimmy Garofalo returning from injury, winning nine straight before a loss to Seattle in overtime. Losses then followed to Baltimore and Atlanta by one score. However, the team would go on to finish with a record of 13-3. and three. Sorry. Yep, 13-3 and three and would finish in the one seed in the NFC. And here to talk more about their prospects in the Super Bowl, I have Ainsley McPhail. Oh. Justin Williams. How's it going? And DJ Penby. What's going on, buddy? So, team, what are the keys to victory for the Niners in the Super Bowl this weekend? Well, we all know about that unstoppable defense. That's all everybody's been talking about, the Niners' unstoppable defense. For these two quarterbacks, though, on the offensive side, it's the first time both of them have been there. It's... We're so used to seeing Tom Brady, who's such a veteran, who just walks into it, shakes his head, and he's just used to it. But these two guys have not been on a big stage yet. Jimmy Garoppolo has been there twice as a backup. I will throw that in there. Okay, but I'm talking about as a starter. being the guy. As being facetious. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, maybe this is a personal bias, but I think that Mahomes will do better on that bigger stage because what happens if the Chiefs are able to get past that unstoppable defense? Uh, his reaction will be everything mm -hmm. to that. Okay, we'll park that, the Garofalo Mahomes comparison. We'll park that for a second. Justin, what are your um, thoughts on the game? How are the 49ers going to get it done against Kansas City? Well, I think it's, it's no secret that the defense has to be like the main thing that they're going to have to do. But the problem is they're going to have to score early and then use the defense to hold them back. Mm -hmm. Because as we've all seen, <laughs> Kansas City is not afraid to go down 24 and then come back. Mm -hmm. They have it. They can do it. They've done it multiple times. But at the same time, San Francisco have scored early in their past two playoff games against Minnesota and Green Bay. Right. So they've shown that they've had that but can ability. They do it, but can they do it when it matters? Like she was saying, he said, like, center stage. You hit there for the first time. Nerves are going and everything. Hands get a little sweaty. Maybe that ball doesn't get released when you want it to. Maybe there's a, a misplay. Maybe X, Y, Z. There's win factor. I don't know. But, like, something could happen. But can they do it? The rest is just practice. This is the main time for them. Mm -hmm. I think it's important for them, too, to, like, you know, if they do score first, I mean, they're going to need to do a lot of things. But if they do score first, they have to keep, you know, the the foot on the gas and, mm -hmm. and keep going. They have to keep scoring. And I and like you said, you know, it their defense is great. But um, we've seen Kansas City's offense and they are ranked number one in the, as an offensive team and they can put boy, points on the board. So if San Francisco's defense does not hold up, they have to rely on their offense. And I think that goes back to the point where she talks about Garoppolo. Mm -hmm. Does he have, like, he? yes, he was a backup for Tom Brady, but does he have that prime time game in him? Does he have the ability to put his team on his shoulders and carry them through? I, we've seen Mahomes do it, and he's no he's not shy of that. So that's going to be a big big thing for I think Garoppolo to overcome. So I'm going to jump in there with Jimmy Garoppolo because I feel like this is a narrative that has I feel like Patrick Mahomes is definitely the more attractive quarterback in terms of how he throws the ball and makes those, those big big boy plays as they say big plays down the field to Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey Garoppolo may not do that as often but what if I told you that this season when Jimmy Garoppolo has been asked to throw the ball more than 35 times he is 5-1 and one with 70% completion rate Throwing 14 TDs. Now, he also threw five interceptions in that um, range. So Garoppolo has to protect the ball because when you compare Garoppolo and Mahomes, Garoppolo has made 21 turnover-worthy passes, whereas Mahomes has made 16 in the lead-up to this game. Garoppolo throws the ball away, you know that Mahomes is going to go down the other end and score. But in saying that, Garoppolo has actually got a better completion percentage than Mahomes throughout the season, 69% versus 65%. He also has a better yards for average, 8.4 versus 8.3. The difference is not that much compared to what the media is telling you. Garofalo can make the big boy passes if he has to, but he's more like Tom Brady. He likes to go short, and he uses guys like um, George Kittle to get the yards after catch. But that's just my two cents. I would totally believe you if you said that because you just did. But it's true. Yeah. No, I, don't, I do believe you. I'm not going to question your your statistics. Okay. However, in the last game, he only threw eight times. So if you're being asked to throw less, 
hopefully you're going to complete the eight passes that you do have to throw. The concern is if they're able to shut down that run and he's forced to throw over and over and over again. Can he do it on the big stage? Kansas City has one of the worst run defenses in the league. And even if he, he is asked to pass, I trust him to make those throws. He has rapport with Debo Samuel. Emmanuel Sanders hardly played in the last game. He, he is a winner. And when you put those two together and George Kittle, who spent most of the last game blocking, they got weapons. And another thing that San Francisco do well is motion. 75% of their plays have someone moving before the snap. That is going to confuse the heck out of defense in Kansas City. Mm -hmm. So I think you brought up a good point. Um, I, I think there's three keys to the Super Bowl, really. <clears throat> for either team to really win. Mm. Um, and you touched on the first one, which is we talked about this being, you know, the number one offense going up against basically the second defense in the league mm -hmm. and them playing that, like that will be a major key. But you touched on the second point, which I think is really important, which is Kittle. And, and who are they going to have yeah. matched up against Kittle? Mm -hmm. And can they stop Kittle? And I think, uh, I believe his name, Ty uh, Tyron Matthews, has made a real good case for himself going up against their mm -hmm. some of the best tight ends in the league and shutting them down. Sure. So, uh, you know, Kansas City has some answers. Can they utilize? Can they make those plays? Mm -hmm. And can they stop those those big you know gains that you know Kittle can provide and that offense can provide with Jimmy G on in the back field there? Sure. Another right? thing to consider is the defensive line of San Francisco is young. This the Organization has spent four years investing in this line. Draft picks, and then very draft true, picks yeah. and whatnot. So Mahomes is not is facing a young D line as opposed to facing older guys like he has in previous rounds where he faced Cameron Wake, who was 35, playing for Tennessee, and guys from Houston. JJ was the only guy for Houston. Anyway, I'm gonna, let's get out of here on this. Now, you two made predictions last week. If you want to check those, feel free to check the videos below, down below. But Ainsley, have I convinced you to swing to the 49ers this week? I, I don't have 49ers hate, by the I'm way. I think Jimmy G, no. I'm not I think he's, a, with he's a humble a and a That's very a talented quarterback. <laughs> but I think that from what I've seen, and like I said, perhaps it's a personal bias, from what I see, I've seen so far on a bigger stage, I'm going to trust Mahomes. Okay. I can agree or disagree with you on that one. Justin, <laughs> the 110% thing was last week. Right. <laughs> you sticking with that? 100%. And 10 um, <laughs> plus tax, plus tax, but yeah, no, I definitely feel like the San Francisco uh, 49ers are going to be the team to win. Like they, they're going, they're going to go home with the Super Bowl. We're going to celebrate. It's, it's going to be just what it is. Mm -hmm. DJ, um, to be honest with you, I might have to go against your grain because I think Kansas City. Uh, to me, I think it's one last thing that really comes down to, and that's yards out of the catch. Mm -hmm. Both teams are really good with that. Mm -hmm. With um, you know, Mahomes throwing to some great receivers, his running back. They could get those yards after the catch. and But we know that um, the 49ers are a great tackling team right mm -hmm. now, and they play very well defense or very good defense. So for them to come out, you know, stop that, stop the yards after the catch, they actually also have a really good high percentage with yards after the catch as well. Um, sure. So, you know, whoever does that, mm -hmm. whoever gets those yards after the catch, I think, and those big plays, I think will win the game. And I think that's going to be Kansas City. Okay. And um, look— I think one thing to consider is Jimmy Garoppolo is 22 and 5 in his career and he can make the big boy plays. He he beats the New Orleans Saints in New Orleans with throwing the ball. So for me, I think we're going to see him come out and we're all going to be witnesses. So I got to go with the San Francisco 49ers. Mm -hmm. Guys and girl, thank you for joining us. No problem. You've been watching Toronto Talk Store some more for Love of the Six. Let's connect and go 49ers. Thank you for watching. Please click the like button and leave us a comment with your feedback. And don't forget to subscribe with notifications to see more engaging and interactive content. Toronto Talk Sports and more. For the love of the six, let's connect.